Okay guys, so today we're gonna be doing something, you know, a little fishing challenge. A lot of y'all like the fishing challenges, so that's what we're doing today. And we're actually gonna be fishing with a fishing hook made out of a paper clip. Now this right here is the prototype. We're gonna make another one and show y'all exactly how we did it. But you know, looking at it from here, hey, that's pretty sharp too. So anyways, we're gonna get out there and catch some, but first, we're gonna make a few more and show y'all just exactly how we done it. So the first thing we done was we straightened out this paper clip and we're now we're gonna cut it about right here in this first little bend. Just like this, just get it, clip it like this and now it should come break right off like that right there. Now that, that's about maybe an inch and a half, maybe two inches. That should be just enough to make the size hook that we're wanting to. So the first thing to make the eyelet, we're just gonna grab it like there and roll it around our pliers like this right here to make it just like that. Now what that does, that's gonna give us enough room to tie our thing on that. We're gonna roll it over a few more times just to make it sure and make sure it's gonna hold up. Like I said, we're just gonna grab it one more time and roll it around once more like that. So now that we've got it that far, it's really simple. We just take it and bend it up like a fish hook does, just like, well, you know that. And then boom, we've got our fish hook right there. Now all we're gonna do is take a sharpener and sharpen it, and I'm gonna let Adam do that part. Here he comes. And there he goes at it, sharpening it. We're not professional hook sharpeners or anything, but that's how we done it on the last one, and the last one got pretty sharp. So now that y'all know how to make a hook, we're gonna get out there, and we're gonna try to catch a few fish on it. Now I'm almost positive we're gonna catch fish, because I know some pretty fire spots right now. But anyways, let's get out there, because we're not gonna catch fish in here sharpening hooks. But instead of walking or driving there, we're gonna get there a little bit quicker by doing this right here. Yeah, like that. That's a whole lot quicker than driving. But we're at our pond. We're about to set in our first hook. Hopefully we get one. Here we go. Here, Adam, I'm gonna let you film me because I honestly think it ain't gonna take this long. Okay, guys, here's the hook. You see it, paper clip. You watch this make it. I'm just gonna put on a little piece of bread, stick it in there, and uh, and you know, there it is. I'm just gonna throw it in and try to get me a little fish right here. Okay, here we go. There he is. Oh my gosh. Honest thinking paper clip. Boom. There he is. On a paper clip, guys. Ooh. I caught this fish on a paper clip. Look at that. Right through its mouth. See guys, no barb or nothing, just comes right out. Just like that. That's crazy, guys. On a stinking paper clip. We're gonna get this guy back in and uh Well now it's your turn, Adam. Here's the rod. Okay, here's Adam terms. Just pass it in there. And wait a second, whenever it takes off, just you know, put a little pressure on it. There you go. You got him. Oh dang it. You had him too. But like we said, there's no barb on this hook, it's so gonna come off easy. yeah, it's gonna come off really easy. As soon as you hook them, you gotta keep constant pressure or they'll just come off like that one did. But hey, we got plenty of bread. We got plenty of chances. All right, here we go, take two. Maybe he'll get him one this time. Hopefully he does on his second cast. There you go, right, I'll get him. Oh, dude, I don't know what, you, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Three hours later. So Adam's missed quite a few now and he couldn't connect on one. I don't know. I'm going to try it right here and see if maybe I can get one. You know, we'll see right here. Let's see what happens right here. I don't Adam, know. I don't know what you're doing wrong, man. I mean, <laughs> it's just like that. There's no barb, but I didn't have a barb on that one. He made it back anyways, but Adam, here you go for the... <laughs> You gotta catch one now. Okay, so here's the tips I can give you. Throw it in there and instead of setting the hook whenever you feel one hit it, just hold it still and let the fish take it out of your hand. Then once the fish take it out of your hand, you know for a fact it's in its mouth, then you just go ahead and reel it up. So let it take it from you. And right now the GoPro's on Adam, it's not on me. Catch one, Adam. I'll try. Here you go, just get ready for it, okay? Okay. Here, get it, get it, get it. Now just stand up straight and get ready for it. So you got it. <laughs> <laughs> How am I not getting them? Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Now just wait for it. Wait for them to take it from you. Hurry, get it. <laughs> yeah, that's a monster. Yeah, it's a monster. Okay, guys, Adam finally caught his first fish. It only took him about 80 tries. That's why I put the GoPro on him. But yeah, he finally got one. Go ahead and toss him back in there. Now, Okay, so now, since he, we both caught one, I'm gonna get my rod out, he's gonna get his rod out, and we're both gonna fish at the same time. I'm gonna be wearing the GoPro now, and hopefully we can just catch as many as we possibly can right here. Okay, guys, I've caught two fish and two casts. Here goes my third cast. See if we can keep the record going. Got him, oh, yes. See if I can get him in, boom, he got him in. Just like that, guys. I don't know, I've never even, I've not caught a sun granny yet. All the ones I've caught just been straight up bluegill. 
I ain't caught a sun granny yet, but the one Adam caught was a sun granny. I don't know, but yeah, just a bluegill, not any giants. Now how I've actually got it is instead of one piece of bread and letting it float down weightless, I've actually got a bigger piece of bread to where it floats up on top and I put my hook right in one corner of it. That way eventually one fish is gonna eat that corner and I'll end up hooking him. Oh, I had him too right there. I missed him though. He was a big one. He was a Boone and Crockett bluegill, my friend. Yep, there he is. That's a booner right there. That's a booner. Boone and... Oh my gosh, he's taking drag. This is my bass pole too. Boom. There. That, that is a Boone and Crockett bluegill right there. That right there is a stinking Boone and Crockett bluegill, guys. That thing is bigger than my hand. That would probably feed a small family of seven right there. But, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Whenever I first heard about this challenge, I didn't think it worked too good. I felt like the hook would maybe be too flimsy or something, and it would maybe bend out every time you caught a fish. But, you know, as you've seen today, we've caught four fish on it. Here's actually the fifth one we've caught on a stinking paper clip, guys. Now, you can't make this up. This is just a straight-up paper clip right here, and... You know, we've caught five fish on them, and we're still catching them, too. The only thing that's not great about them is, you know, it don't have a barb. But actually, I've heard in some places, you're not allowed to have barbed hooks anyhow. So, this is basically just a barbless hook. And there's number six right there on the stinking paper clip. Guys, if you like this challenge, just uh, tell me. If you like these paper clip challenge, we may try to make stuff out of other materials. And if you have any ideas for what other materials we should use, go ahead and hit me up in the comments and tell me what other materials we can use to try to make our own do-it-yourself hooks. And yes, Adam is still working on his second fish. I've done got six up on the bank, and Adam's still struggling to get his second. They don't like my pole. They don't like your pole? Nope. I caught two on it. <laughs> okay guys well we pretty well confirmed you can catch fish on a paper clip they weren't necessarily giants but if you want to see more tell me in the comment section and i might even do a catfishing with a paper clip video guys i honestly think i can do it but if y'all want to see it y'all gotta tell me also if you like these homemade hook ideas comment materials below that you'd like to see me go out and try to make a hook with we had a lot of fun doing this and you know we're definitely wanting to bring more to you. So tell me in the comments if you liked this video. And if you did, we might just do more. Oh yeah, and here's Notification Squad. I'm sorry.